In this video, we'll balance the equation C5H12O plus O2. This is not an easy equation to balance, so stick with me and we'll get it figured out. Let's count the atoms up on both sides of the equation and then we'll balance it. Five carbons, 12 hydrogens, and one plus two, three oxygens. Product side, one carbon, two hydrogens, and two plus one, three oxygen atoms. Let's just start by fixing the carbons. Put a five here, one times five, that equals five. And then for the oxygens, need to do those. We have two times five is 10 plus the one here, that equals 11. So we have some kind of strange numbers here. Let's just balance the hydrogens here. We need to have 12, so we'll put six as our coefficient. Two times six, that gives us 12. So the hydrogen atoms are balanced. And again, we need to update the oxygens. We have two times five is 10 plus one times six, six. We have 16. So we have this kind of awkward situation. We have 16 here and then three. So what I like to do in this instance is I want to get this to be an even number. And the way I do it is I put a two up here. So that means I have two times five gives me 10 carbons, two times 12 gives me 24 oxygens, but I end up with one times two plus these two here, that gives me four. So if I can balance these, then I can come back and I can put some coefficient in front of here to get the oxygens fixed. Let's see how that works. We'll have to fix both the carbon and the hydrogen. So let's get rid of this. So we need to have 10 carbons. So let's get rid of this, and we're gonna change that coefficient to 10. So now we have one times 10, we have 10 carbons, those are balanced. We would need to update our oxygens, but let's do that in a minute, because we need to fix the hydrogen too. So we need to have two times something gives us 24. So we need 12 for our hydrogens. Let's do that. So we put a 12 here, 12 times two, that's 24. So those are balanced. Now let's add up our oxygens again. 10 times two is 20 plus 12 times one, that equals 32. Okay, now it seems like this is kind of be difficult to balance, but it's really not too bad. So we're saying that we have two times one, so we have two plus some number is gonna equal 32. So two plus 30, that equals 32. So if we put a 15 as our coefficient, two times 15, that'll give us 30, plus the one times the two, 32. And now this equation is balanced. And this was a difficult equation to balance. I think the trick here is one, leave that O2 to last, because you can change the coefficient on that, and that helps you balance your oxygens. So you leave the oxygens to last, and then you change that coefficient. The other thing is you really want to have an even number of oxygens here to work with. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for C5H12O plus O2. Thanks for watching.